we have three kind of uh, connect connector. Um, uh, this is the first uh, generation uh, LD3 connector. This is the second generation, and this is the uh, third generation, uh, which I'm going to uh, talk about today. And uh, let's uh, first let's uh, take a look at the difference uh, of uh, these three kind of generation in the appearance. Okay. Uh, uh, compared with the first generation, uh, the third generation has better uh, industrial uh, design. And compared with the second generation, uh, which we call the snap connector, uh, the third generation uh, looks uh, much smaller. And let's put them together. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see, uh, it it has around it is uh, the size is around uh, 20 to 25 uh, percent smaller. Okay. Uh, now uh, you will, you may ask a question that uh, how this uh, LD strip connector comes from, and now I will show you how to uh, assemble this uh, connector. Okay. Uh, just like all the LD strip connector, uh, it consists of two part. One part is the the wire and another part is the terminal connector. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a look at the terminal connector. Mm -hmm. And uh, now it it has a uh, two two hole for the wire, two hole for the for the wire, and this is the uh, locking cap on the back. Uh, in default, uh, this is open. Okay. And now that's uh, uh, what difference is uh, what difference is this connector can be uh, assembled uh, by hand. Okay, uh, let me show you. Okay, firstly separate uh, this two wire a little bit and uh, try to uh, insert this two wire into uh, the hole. Okay, and. Uh, normally, uh, when uh, I'm assembling, you cannot see uh, if the wire uh, go into the hole, uh, but you can try, try to uh, a little uh, slightly, a little bit, and make the. So you, you uh, if you if you uh, connect by yourself, you can uh, easily feel uh, the wire has gone into the hole. So let's try to uh, insert it slightly. Okay, and uh, you can check the from the from here. Uh, the wire copper core has gone through uh, this uh, wire hole. So that means uh, if you can see these two uh, copper wire, it means uh, the connection has completed. And let's try to pull it out. It is fixed now. Okay. And now I'm going to, uh, I have two uh, LD strip, uh, one is uh, 60 LD per meter and another is 120 uh, LD per meter with a different uh, soldering pad as you can see, as you can see here with different soldering pad. And now I'm doing uh, some uh, connecting test. Firstly, let's start from the uh, 60 LD per meter. And just cut here. Okay. Now the soldering pad is still here. And firstly, uh, let's try let's ch let's try the first first generation. Okay. I'm not okay. And uh, before you connect the LED tree, it is better to uh, tear the coating off of the 3M tape. Okay, tear the coating paper off. So just uh, insert it. Just insert it. Insert it. Okay, and try to lock it. So let's do a pro test to uh, see if the connection good. So as you can see, uh, it is it can e it can be easily a uh, pro off. So let's try our Let's try our connector. Okay. 
you can insert it here uh, before uh, insert the strip I need I wish and I want to show you uh, where to insert so this is uh, this is the port This is the channel for the LED strip, okay? And we can insert the LED strip here. Mm -hmm. Try to insert it here slightly. Okay, pull it. Let's contact. And now we lock it. Jack test quickly. As you can see, the connection is so strong. Okay, now uh, let's test the second generation uh, LED strip connector with the 120 LED. It's still cut here. So uh, as you can see, the soldering pair is still here. Okay, and try to uh, turn again. Okay, uh, tear up the tree and tape. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's try to. Uh, Insert it. Okay. Now, uh, when I'm going to uh, lock the cover, as you can see, uh, it is impossible because the first LED has a uh, car covered by the uh, by this locking cap. Okay, so we need to pull it a little bit. To pull it a little, a little bit. But it is still impossible because of the distance because of the uh, the distance is uh, too small. Oh, oh, even even we can lock it. It is uh, easily to uh, pull off. So it is still impossible and not a good option for this kind of uh, 120 LED. So now let's use uh, our brand new one. Okay. Show you uh, okay. easily insert it. Okay, and you can also use a tool uh, to to lock this cap. Okay, let me show you. Uh, okay. You can see uh, it has has been locked. Okay, and we can still do a jack jack test. It is very strong. And now uh, I want to connect these two LED strips to the power supply and to light them up. Even we check it, uh, it is it is it can uh, it is still lighting. Okay, let's try the second one. Okay. Connection is still wood. Okay. 
So uh, at the beginning of this video, I have shown you uh, how small uh, this uh, new connector is, and now I will now I will show you uh, how uh, the advantage one of the application of this uh, LED strip connector, which is advantage of uh, small size. So uh, it can be normally it can be easily. can be easily put into the LD strip profile. Okay. Let's see from on the side. Okay. But but uh but uh, this is impossible with the first and second uh, generation and let me show you what you can see because of the size the the white is too too big, so the first generation is impossible to put it inside the LED strip profile, and uh, neither the second generation. It is also impossible because the size is too big. Okay, and uh, this so this is our strip connector and. Uh, it is the 8 millimeters for 3528 and uh, strip to power. And we are now developing uh, another type. It is the strip to strip uh, without wire. Uh, I will show you in next video.